Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as HUFN News. Today is June the 1st, 2020. Going to give you all this update in Uber stock and answer the question, is Uber stock still a buy? If you guys have been watching the stock recently, you guys have seen a pretty good movement uh, to the upside over the last month of May. Now we need to try to answer the question to determine if the market trapper is still interested in increasing the value of this particular product called Uber stock. All right. So if this is your first time watching our video, make sure you hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to our channel, join us on our website, youfinancial.com in order to see more of our price predictions in the stock market. All right. So last time we did our video in Uber stock was all the way back since April the 25th, 2020, which is right there. You guys can tell that we were looking for the market in Uber to continue to see market movement higher in price. And for the most part, Ultimate TP was had on April the 29th. 8.76% could have been bagged into your pocket prior to our analysis on the 24th. So hopefully you was able to grab that profit from the market trapper prior to the slight dip into the space. Now, if you were still able to maintain the weakness that the trap tried to push out on the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of May, and you maintain it and you were to get out right now as we are today on the 1st of June, your profitability will be 23.23%. So very good to see that play out into the market for Uber stock. Hopefully y'all was able to take advantage of our pred prediction and forecast into the market. Now that's over and done with. We need to still follow what the market trapper is trying to do. And he's that guy. You guys see him right there on the bottom left side of my screen. He's the one that's moved the market. So we need to follow precisely what he's trying to do in terms of where the market is going to go. So what I wanted to do since we are starting the new month, I wanted to look at the monthly price chart for Uber. And you guys can tell that generally there's a lot of strength into the market in Uber. I mean, last month we closed at the very high of the bar and that lets me know at best, you know, $38 is going to be tagged into the market for Uber stock. So yeah, the actual momentum into the market for Uber is definitely still there. Closing at the high of the bar on the monthly and then when you look at Uber stock on a weekly time frame, you know, we started last week off with some weakness. We did move to the downside, but we recovered. And it simply means that we closed toward the high of the bar. So the overall momentum in Uber stock is definitely still there. And again, you can tell how the momentum is still there is because this market is still trading above that ascending line. OK, so we're going to make sure that the trap continues to keep the value of this particular product, Uber above that ascending line because the moment we break that ascending line that lets you know that there's a change and that the market has switched over from the bullishness back over to one of sideways consolidational trading or even weakness and movement lower so we're still looking good on the weekly time frame and uber stock to continue to see the market move higher here we are on the daily time frame again the market is for the most part still trending quite strong we got a lot of volume that ended out the week right there on may 29 2020 so yeah i don't see anything uh on these particular price bars price charts that lets us know that uber is getting some weakness right now so the trend in uber stock is still in play we're going to continue to ride the forecast out into the market for uber stock and we're going to tp the market in uber at 38 dollars right there around that particular vicinity because we understand that is where the market traffic is going to try to instill some more sellers into the market. So let's take it around, you know, $38, maybe a tad lower because that's where the market trapper uh, usually would like to instill a lot of his volume. So we'll TP the market at $38 around that vicinity, you know, don't want to be precise, but around $38 because that has served as a prior areas of restriction specifically right there for January back in 2020 of this year. All right, so we're going to continue to play the forecast in Uber. We're going to extend it up a little bit higher just to compensate the actual momentum that has concluded on the monthly time frame. But 
overall this is the reason why uber stock is still a buy we're still looking for the market in this company to continue to push and increase the value of this product you guys got any questions and comments let us know relatively simple to see as well as understand this is how trading and increasing profitability is supposed to be and it's not supposed to be confusing so join us